No fancy or fun introduction today. We just want to get right down to the meat and potatoes of our results from placing our 10 dBi antenna up in our attic and just start the brainstorming on how we can improve and see better results. Stay tuned. Nerdy Dude Stuff. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, all that good stuff. Real quick for those of you keeping track at home, like I said, we're really just wanting to dive right into the results of our setup. So we're not doing anything crazy or fancy, but we're drinking a Sam Adams Summer Ale. Always a good, good beer to drink. Always a crowd pleaser. Always great for this time of year. Cheers to you guys. Mm. If this is your first time on the channel, please take a moment to consider subscribing, turning on the bell notification as we post weekly content videos on things like Helium and Algorand and other mining opportunities. And if not, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. Now, let's jump right into what we have done. Let's do a quick refresher of our setup and let's talk about some of the trial and error and the opportunities to get as much Helium rewards as we possibly can. And we're gonna show our results from placing our antenna up in the attic at you know about 25 feet high so let's do a quick refresher here and show you guys what we did in case you missed it in the last video in the last video that we posted we did a quick little clip of our setup and we have our antenna up in our attic about 25 feet high running with a 25 or, or 25 foot cable back down into the garage to our bobcat miner which is hooked up to the internet via Wi-Fi. Now we were having some issues with well, our Wi-Fi. So we're looking at oh, probably we'll that. We were having some issues with our Wi-Fi, yeah. but we got all of that taken care of. And our hotspot on Monday, we had all of the wiring to our house redone. We had a brand new modem put in. We found some flayed wires that were potentially ruining the signal for the internet coming in and coming out. But ever since we had that switched out, we have been up and operational 100% of the time. So I'm not worried about the Wi-Fi. Uh, versus ethernet argument anymore we have not gone down ports are opened static ips are assigned and we have been in the green on our box the entire time which has been very very nice but the antenna that we have up in the attic is as you could see in the picture here we have it nice and high a couple things that i'm thinking of i might look at having a little adapter that extends the antenna around away from the wooden plank just to get everything else around because right now i feel that maybe with this being pressed up against the wooden plank it's potentially blocking off uh maybe about 90 to 100 anywhere between 90 to 180 degrees of potential signal just from this pole of you know the wood plank alone so maybe if we extend this out maybe another like two feet just to get it away from this one pole we can then open up that range because i'm not really too concerned with the plywood or the ceiling shingles uh interrupting signal like if this was down inside the house the antenna that we do have is is it is this page yeah, so this is the antenna that we purchased. You could see last purchase on July 9th of 2021. 10 dBi outdoor for low raw gateway, 915 megahertz antenna, omnidirectional fiberglass antenna, blah, 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 blah. If you guys have this antenna, let's pull it back up here. If you have this antenna and you have some success or anything like that, please leave a comment below to let me know how you're doing. When I initially made the purchase, it only had two reviews with five star ratings. Now it looks like it's got three reviews with a one star rating. I don't feel I'm in a position just yet to give it a fair and accurate rating just because when we see look at the results here we still look at that man i talk really fast we are kind of in that lone wolf territory so i don't feel it's fair to give this a review just yet again if you have this antenna please let me know in the comments below and then we have this uh low loss ultra low loss i feel that's just buzzword salad right there ultra low loss antenna coax cable um running it's 25 footer running from the garage up into the attic to connect that as well so let's take a look at the results. Here we are. This is my miner number one right here. And then of course I've got my other miner down here. This is the miner that we'll be focusing on next week, but this is the miner that we are focusing on now. Our current seven day results are 0.392. Our current 24 hour results are nada, zilch, none. And then over a 30 day spread, we're at 0.63. Hmm. So the big concern here is this last seven days. And if, you know, we've had this going for about July 1st would be the, we got it. Yeah, we got it in on July 1st and it took about a day to get synced up to the network. And then we had some time off in between because the Helium network went down and Bobcats took forever to sync up. But you could see here for those first one, two, three, four, five. So five days, that first week that we had this set up, we had a total of about, it's 0.19. Uh, 0.24 
in Helium earnings. And then since we installed that antenna, we've had a total of, because uh, we installed it on the other day, 0 .07, 0 0.04, so 0 0.11. Um, we've pretty much doubled that number. Are the results outstanding? No. The reason why I think is because right now we really are in a not too populated area. You could see this is my one hot spot. We've got these guys way up here, then we've got mine here, and then we've got a couple all around here. So I really don't want to sit there and give up on the antenna until I install a new one on my in-law's house, which has only received 0.52 HNT in the past 30 days. And then if those two antennas don't talk back and forth, then I think we might be seeing some issues there. Now I will say, in the past seven days, I think it was yesterday, we're going to go to the activity. I will say, I am proud to announce that this antenna, we just sent out a beacon and we're not getting any hits. We created a challenge, but we just sent out a beacon, so hopefully we get some hits there. Sent a beacon earlier, 12 hours ago, we didn't get any hits. 22 hours ago, we sent a beacon, didn't get any hits. So we haven't really see, received any mining rewards in the past 24 hours. But the biggest reward we received, I'm very happy to announce, is that we did witness a beacon. So that's a very big step in the right direction. We witnessed a beacon that was sent all the way out here. And look how far that goes. So this guy's probably got some monster antenna. When I looked at this individual, they have a... Uh, oh my gosh, this guy's got 73.53. Uh, so pet hazelnut goldfish, It's even it's even with it being rallied. So I looked at this guy's uh, antenna and he's got a 5.8 DBI antenna sitting at 30 meters and he has been seeing some serious numbers just in, his la in the rewards. Let's go into statistics here real quick. In the last uh, 24 hours, he's earned 2.1 helium. In the last week, he's earned 11 helium. That's over $100. And in the last 30 days, 73 helium. So that's over $730 in 30 days with his setup. So he's got a very nice setup. But the moral of the story is that we witnessed him all the way out here. I mean, he had another opportunity to get witnessed there. So that is a positive sign in my book. And if you agree with that being a positive sign as well, please let me know. Like, hopefully that starts getting the flow in. So we're gonna go back to that witness transaction. And you can see when we witnessed that, that 15 witness you know, beacon that was sent out, we received 0.228 HNT for that. So if we can get ourselves into a repeat situation where we're able to see those and witness and have our stuff witnessed as well, the HNT is going to fly in. So I was very, very happy with that outcome. Uh, but overall, we haven't seen anything else in the past 24 hours since then. So like I said, I don't want to give this a down and out. Maybe the antenna is crap. It might be crap. You know, I want to make sure I keep my my hopes very high. This might be a crappy antenna. It's it's cheap. It was it was 50 bucks. And you can see right now it's currently unavailable. So there's other people out there buying it, but it might be the price might be the problem. So really what I'm going to be trying to do with before I go out and you know give up on it or get a new antenna is I've got my second miner which we are going to then test out. This miner is currently sitting in a house that is completely it's got aluminum sides, it's sitting behind a window, it's a 4 dBi antenna from the stock Bobcat. So I know that this antenna has lots of lots of restrictions and lots of things ruining it and it's not getting signal. So over the course of the week, we are going to be running this antenna to get on top of that um, section, on top of that house. This one's going to be full-blown external, and we're going to put a little bit more money into the pieces that we purchase. So up uh, first, we are going to get this proxy cast. Uh, I didn't want the 10 dBi one. I wanted the 8 dBi one. Or maybe we'll try this one. Uh, no, we don't want that one. We want the 8 dBi one. Hang on, let's go. Proxy cast... DBI. Eh, we'll just, you know, screw everything up. And a lot of commenters have been talking about um, 5.8's been doing really well. 6. Point, or 6.0 DBI's been doing really well. Uh, but at the end of the day, I saw a proxy cast antenna. I guess that's the only option. Um, maybe I might give that one a whirl because that one's got better feedback and everything. Um, or, I don't know. But... I, I get that just threw me off. I was looking at an 8 dBi one last week, but I also did watch a couple of videos where they were using this 10 dBi one. And this one's got 71 ratings with a four star, 4.1 out of five. So this one's a lot more solid. And maybe that's exactly what we need. And then because we are going to be running the cable still a little bit long from the initial spot of the hotspot router, we are going to upgrade the quality of the antenna. Originally, we bought our antenna. It was a $25, or I'm sorry, it was a $20 antenna for 25 feet, which is 7.65 meters. So we are going to then double the price and we are going to purchase this cable, which a lot of comments that I need an LMR400 cable for the better 
the better control and the lo lower loss of the signal. And we're going to hopefully see if that antenna and that cable will run together and be better. And if they are, then what we might end up doing is if we get this one here, we might then switch this one and put this one in my attic because this one might be a better quality antenna and then put the other one that I've already purchased over at my in-laws to kind of really get that solid base. We want to see if this antenna is the problem or if it's just my location because again, we are in that lone wolf territory. Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I did want to look something up and I couldn't remember exactly how I got there, but I wanted to look this up and see uh, if you guys can help me understand this, um, let's go here. If you guys can help me understand what I'm looking at, I want to go to my activity. Let's take a look here. Brief tope. Um, it's not the transaction details. Was it under the witnessing? I don't remember exactly where I saw what I'm looking for. Let's see. Um, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We wanted to look at the... Again, i still going through statistics. I think it was under statistics, not checklist. Was it under checklist? Let's see. It was. I wanted to look at like my sound noise and everything. Witnesses next. All right, so that's my milestone. I have to get. That's the only thing I. I have not had any witnesses. Um, it was under activity, wasn't it? Let's go under activity. We want to go to the witness beacon transaction there it is right here okay so this this and this beacon that we witnessed was 22 kilometers away and it's showing here that my sound noise ratio or whatever that stood stands for is minus 5 db and then my rssi is negative 121 dbm so if you guys can give me some better insight on exactly what that means and what that means for that 10 dbi antenna i greatly appreciate it so it's saying my snr is minus 5 db so then i'm assuming that that cable that we're running up into the attic and the uh, plywood and the ceiling shingles or the roof shingles are causing that effect to basically we're getting a, a minus five loss which if that's the case that's not terrible i mean it is terrible because i want to get all these other um miners going but at the end of the day it you know we're then just at five db being pumped out or dbi being pumped out there versus like the four stocks that come with it so i think that is improvement and where we're going and maybe if we get that better uh cable we'll see a smaller negative number here so please be sure to leave me a comment on that um again this is all trial and error mm. I'm trying to get everything set up and as the helium network grows and maybe more people around us start getting helium miners and if I get some good numbers that pop off I could start looking at maybe getting a helium miner over here I got to make some friends over in that community and put one over there and we can get going but as of right now you know we did get that one witness so I'm very very encouraged that we're doing something right it's been a uh, I mean other people have obviously had better and solid weeks than we have but this makes me feel really well and we are doing something right so hopefully we can keep on this trend and keep pushing so that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please feel free, free to leave a comment. Reach out to me on Telegram, Twitter, Discord. Um, all that stuff should be in the link of the, the description. All those links should be in the description of this video. Otherwise, please take a moment to consider subscribing, turn on the bell notification, like the video, all that good stuff. I'm Oprius, and we'll see you guys next time.